Hi, this is Jeff at GearReport.com with a quick preview review on some photography equipment. A little bit different than what we typically talk about here, but we're doing a lot of video reviews, picked up some photography equipment, thought we'd share our feedback on that as well. Today we're going to talk about the Pro Series 50-inch tripod. We got this from Amazon, actually purchased this. A lot of what you see reviewed here is sent in by uh, manufacturers or retailers who'd like us to review the product. This one we actually purchased. MSRP listed on Amazon is $50. Uh, they actually sell it uh, with Prime two-day shipping for $11.95. So kind of looks like an inflated MSRP to make it look like a better deal than it really is. But a $12 tripod, um, I'd like to say, how can you go wrong? If it falls over and breaks your expensive camera, I guess that is a risk that you're taking with a cheap tripod. Uh, what's the purpose of this? It's designed to hold a small digital camera or a small video camera. Here you see one of these tripods with a Ghost HD uh, from Drift, Drift Innovations. This is one of the cameras we use for our outdoor action shots. It shoots 1080. It's pretty light, so it does pretty well on here. Overall, this is not a big, heavy-duty, sturdy tripod. This is small. It's light. It extends to a maximum of 50 inches. This is probably 12 inches here with you know an inch or two above that for the camera. It does have three-way motion, so we've got tilt. We have uh, pan back and forth. We have height as well as an adjustment where you can turn it up on its side or down at any angle between there. You've got about 90, 95 degrees of adjustability there. Uh, you can see here, this is fully tightened, the screw that holds the camera onto the tripod and the camera still wiggles. So for this particular camera, for the Drift Ghost HD, the screw in the tripod a little bit longer than it could be. It's bottomed out and won't allow us to tighten it the rest of the way. I'll put a little rubber washer between there uh, before I use this in the field so the camera doesn't move around when I'm using it. Not a deal breaker. If the screw's too short and the camera falls off, that's a deal breaker. Screw being a little bit too long, we can improvise, adapt, and overcome. We'll be okay with that. The bubble level, which you may be able to see here, not sure how useful that's going to be. It's going to give us only forward and back leveling. Uh, I'm not sure. Most tripods that I've seen have a level, has a little dot level, not a tubular level. So if you center the bubble within the, the circle of the dot, then you're level in 360 degrees direction. This way it's only forward or back. So. Useful, maybe, incredibly useful, probably not. So what does the manufacturer say about this? The Pro Series 50-inch silver tripod features non-slip feet. Yes, it does. They have rubber coating on them, uh, somewhat non-slip, and a bubble level indicator. We just talked about that. It has an adjustable center pole and comes with a water-resistant carrying case. The adjustable center pole, you loosen the screw, here in the collar on that pole, and pull it up, and we'll tighten it back down. That's actually pretty sturdy. Now to lower it, lowering it is kind of clunky, to be honest with you. Up was easy, down not so easy, but clearly it, it did collapse back down uh, as it was supposed to. Uh, let's see, water-resistant carrying case. This is a very, very thin, looks like a going to see a coated nylon. I'm not sure it's coated. Not sure I would call this uh, water resistant. Certainly not waterproof. Very light. Uh, almost nothing to it, but probably better than nothing for $12. Uh, can we really expect much? Probably not. The tripod is lightweight and mobile with its aluminum alloy legs and a three-way pan head. But well, we talked about three-way pan head already. The aluminum legs, it, it's light. Let me show you the extendability on this. We have three sections. Get that out of the way. So it, it's got some pretty good extension on it. These locks actually lock pretty tight. It is really wobbly when it's not locked. Once you lock it down, it, it 
makes the legs a whole lot more steady. You can see we still got a lot of wobble room here. Not going to be the most sturdy, stable tripod that you can get. But for our uses, I think it's going to be okay because we have a very light camera that's on it. We're going to be using it in relatively stable situations. Uh, and the review that we're filming right now, we have a second one of these with a cell phone on it. And we're recording with a Google Nexus 5 cell phone sitting on one of these uh, Pro Series 50 inch tripods. If you want to look it up on Amazon, uh, you search for 50 inch, that's I-N-C-H spelled, spelled out, 50 inch aluminum camera tripod. And uh, you'll find it, I'll put a link to Amazon in the written review and also on the YouTube video page so you can go find it directly. Uh, what do we think of the build quality? Well, for the money spent, I think it's pretty good. It, this is not overbuilt by any means. Do, do I worry? Is this plastic strong enough? Is it going to break? If someone bumps it, is the thing going to fall apart? Yeah, honestly, I do worry about that a little bit, so I'm going to be careful with it. I'm not going to throw this in the back of the car when we're going to a site to do a review and do some shooting. I'll be a little bit more careful for it because I know it's pretty light. It was pretty cheap. Cheap meaning it didn't cost much. Cheap meaning it was built pretty cheaply as well. And you saw that extending the vertical post was pretty easy. Putting it back down, uh, it, it catches, it wobbles. It, it's not going down nearly as easily as it goes up. So build quality for the money, pretty good. Overall, not great. First impressions, honestly, I think it's gonna be fine for what we're using it for because we're just using the small action cameras and it's gonna be small and easy to pack and pretty light. So I think it's going to work for us, it may not work for everyone, but that's our assessment on this 50-inch uh, aluminum camera tripod. So thanks for watching us here at the Gear Report channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got lots and lots of reviews coming, especially if you like outdoor stuff. Firearms, ar 15 we have a big trigger group test coming up. Look for that review, as well as water sports, camping, camping hammocks. We've got a variety of reviews in that area as well. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go check out our webpage, gearreport.com. It's gear-report.com. You see that URL here? Don't forget to go find us on Facebook, Gear Report, gear with a space and then the word report. We're easy to find there. Give us a like, let us know you saw the video. Please leave any comments, suggestions, questions you have in the comments. We'll get back to you. Thanks again.